Hi friends, my obsession towards hydroponic systems has been growing given their value for money. I have lots of aero gardens and other hydroponic systems and I am very happy with all of them. However, my exploration towards other hydroponic systems is not stopping anywhere. Nowadays, I am very much interested in gardens that supports more pods like a 12, 15, etc. So here is another hydroponic system from Spider Farmer. Spider Farmer is very famous for the grow lights. So I hope they made this hydroponic system very well. Let's see how it looks like and what are all the accessories it came with. First things first, a manual. Here comes the hydroponic system. Wow, the first impressions on this design are pretty good. Here is the grow deck. It's a single piece and it supports 12 pods. Then the sponges, the light panel and the pod baskets. The pod baskets and sponges are standard across many hydroponic systems. The power adapter and the plant in nutrition. Oh, these are empty bottles. The nutrition came separately in small Ziploc bags. I am dumping it into the bottles. Now I have to fill the bottles with water and dissolve all the solids. Then I can use it as needed. I am not a big fan of this nutrition because it is always expensive. So I use either MaxiGrow or AeroGarden Nutrition. Next some domes to cover the pods. A T connector that goes on the pump. I like this connector as the water will be pumped in both directions. Then the cover that goes on the grow deck. Then the bowl. The bowl is pretty simple and plain. I like this kind of plain design as it makes the cleaning very easy. This bowl is wide, deep enough and huge with 7 liter water capacity. Of course we need to fill to the maximum of 6 liters. It has a nice see through window to monitor the water level. It also has a drain hole which is helpful to change the water. I never use ditch. I always dump the water, clean the bowl and start over with fresh water and nutrition. Now let's talk about the pump. We can open this pump and clean it but we cannot detach the pump completely from the bowl. The pump is plugged deep into the bowl using some glue inside this hole and the pins are exposed at the bottom of the bowl. This pin will connect to the base and supply the power to the pump. I like this design. It is so easy to take the bowl in and out without disconnecting the pump cable. However, it has one disadvantage. If the pump got into any issue and we want to replace the pump, it is not easy. So I just hope that the pump never run into any issues. Now the base. It has a control panel to manage some settings. Basically it has 4 buttons. Power, time and 2 grow modes that are wedge and flowers. The time gives the flexibility to control how long the lights will be on. It supports 4, 8, 12 and 16 hours. Anyways, I just go with 16 hours for any plant variety. Coming to the specs. Lights are 24 voltage and they are dimmable to 5 brightness levels that are 10, 20, 40, 60 and 80 percentage. Now comes a very interesting feature which is how low and how high we can adjust the lights. The lowest it can go is 11 inches and we can extend it up to 20 inches. Maximum height is really good but I am not happy with the minimum height adjustment. 11 inches going to be far from the seedlings and there is a chance that the seedlings may get leggy. But it has 24 wattage lights. So let's see if it is going to help. Now let's check the pods. Like many hydroponic systems, the pods in this system are loose. This is not terribly bad but I wish the holes are made little better, something similar to Aero Gardens. Coming to the grow deck again, it has many holes and vents. 
Different companies explain it in different ways, like to add support stakes, plant tags, or for airflow. But I prefer this deck is completely sealed. The light and debris can pass through these holes and create issues like algae, mold, etc. So I always prefer the grow deck without any gaps. Now let's get into some fun. I will turn on the pump and show you how it pumps the water. This is really good. The water circulation will be very efficient this way. Overall it looks pretty good. My only concerns are the wiggly pods and the minimum height restriction. The 7 liter bowl capacity, the height adjustment up to 20 inches, standard pods and sponges, very convenient way to take the bowl in and out, clean and simple design, dimmable 24 voltage lights, everything looks nearly perfect. However, the design is not everything for me. I really care about the performance. So I am going to experiment it with different crops and I will also benchmark it with AeroGoden and other hydroponic systems. So please subscribe to the channel and the notifications if you haven't already. For now, I am going to do a standalone test by growing French breakfast radishes and Siberian dwarf kale. I will grow kale in the first and the last rows and I will grow radish in the center row. By the time the kale takes over the garden, I should be able to harvest the radish and dedicate the system for kale. I am placing two seeds in each pod. Now the radish seeds. I am placing two seeds for radish as well. Alright, the garden is ready. Please stay tuned for the updates. Oh, before I wrap up, I have a coupon code for you in case you want to buy it directly from Spider Farmer. The coupon code is hydro or 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 8. I don't get any commission. It is just for you to save a few dollars. I often see that it is slightly cheaper on their website compared to Amazon. But who knows, they may run better promotions on Amazon. So check both of them before you buy. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.